Hello, my friends. It's another time for the earned value yellow buttons problem. We're going to take a look at the CPI today. We're going to talk about this cost performance index that you hear about. When you hear cost performance index, you need to be thinking about cost performance. Now, what makes CPI better than CV is it is an absolute that goes across the entire project, regardless of the project. So, even if your project is different from mine, relatively speaking, the performance cost-wise can be compared to yours because we're not just looking at a variance. If we look at variances, they're subjective. A $1 million variance on a $1 billion project is different from a $1 million variance on a $2 million project. So in order to keep it scaled down in the right proportions to get an apples to apples comparison, we need the CPI. That's why we have the CPI. So let's take a look at the CPI in the yellow buttons problem. The problem says you're meant to manufacture three buttons a day for four days. Your management asks you to create 11 yellow buttons and each button will cost $1,000. You've planned three buttons will be made each day. However, on day two, things seem rough. At the end of day two, those colored blue are done. Where are those colored blue? Let's take a look at those colored blue. Those colored blue are done, and you have spent $8,000 at this point. So we already know the story. The story is you're meant to be doing this project, and at the moment, your earned value, we've already taken a look at this in previous days, right? So I'm hoping you're able to see you've only done five, so your earned value is 5,000, right? Earned value is 5K. If you've not looked at the previous days, please do. And your actual cost, which we call actual cost of work performed, is $8,000. Now, as you can see, the formula behind me, the formula behind me. Let's take a look at the formula one more time. Cost performance index is equal to earned value divided by actual cost. So we're gonna do a straight division of this divided by this. This is what, 5,000 and this is 8,000. So we're gonna do 5,000 divided by 8,000. So let's go back to the board, take a look at what we're doing here. Okay. So that's the picture. And we're gonna say earned value divided by actual cost equals CPI. I hope I didn't get my wires crossed. If I did, I'm sorry. Sometimes it's just so much to say, you tend to get it muddled up. So anyway, we have 5,000. Remember the dollar sign is always there in these indices, but the dollar signs cancel, okay? So, the zeros cancel and the dollar signs cancel and you have five divided by eight. And if you follow through with that, you get an answer. Five divided by eight is 0 0.625. So the answer to this problem is 0 0.625. And that, my friends, is how you calculate the cost performance index. Remember, like I said, it is a very good measure of cost performance across the entire project, and it's good to compare performance across projects of various sizes. So if on the exam you ever get the question, which is better for cost performance, you really need to think about this, cost performance index. Cost variance is great. We'll talk about that in the next session, but it is not as great as CPI, because CPI is universal. It cuts across all projects of various sizes, all right? See you in the next one.